and Twilight are going to be doing a review on a clothes for herbal tank. Don't say that too fast. Hi. Okay, sorry. Hi, it's actually so I'm going to be doing a review on a clothes herbal tank now. Um. A little louder. So we are just going to first uh, do the mini figures, of course. So here we go with uh, Soka. I put her in the pose that she always has, but apparently in the box she doesn't have it. Can't see her. Same old Soka. Always, a lot of people have her. I don't remember the diff. I don't know if there's any differences because I haven't seen an Ahsoka figure in a long time. But uh, I think this is a little difference, and uh, yeah. So yeah, Ayla Secura, uh, Ayla Secura, a new minifigure that we've never seen yet in uh, any set. New. So her head. It's just amazing. Like, it really looks really cool. Um, looks a lot like Ayla Secura. And, yeah. I got some sample Anakin. Yeah, who cares about him? Two Clone Troopers, one Commander, one not. Get this one, include more Battle Pack. This one, and any set, really. And then here's Bane. Cad Bane. I used to call him Cad, and then I called him Bane, so, yeah. I'm not really sure which way his hat goes. Maybe like this, because you usually can't see his eye. But, who really, really knows? Anyway. So, uh, yeah. This is the base plate. It doesn't come with this. And then this piece right here, which is new to us, would be a very good um, Kenobi disc for Bionicle. If you see Bionicle 2 Legends of Metro Nui, anyway, I have like a million times. So if you put this up, you can pull this down, it's pretty much a lock. Then you have the Clone Walker. I'm not going to show you anything about it, but I'm going to mention this. It is really detailed. I mean, it's, it's just too detailed. You can put a base plate right here for more clones, but everyone does that, yeah. That's a good thing from everyone. There's a little thing right here that's missing. Anyway, so let's just open it up. Uh, inside there's two plain old seats. These, uh, don't really go all the way. Um, and it has these two guns, and these are part of the bones, what I call them. The body. The inside. Well, the inside, yeah. The base of the ship. A shell. The outside is the shell. Oh well, anyway. So, in the here, you can't open that much. very well, but this opens pretty fine. And it's blocking the t this cannon now, but you can put it over here. Uh, like this. It's fine, it's can rotate anyway. And you go in here, you have no space to put it in the clone. Right, way down there. I can't even reach with my finger. And, uh, so yeah. Uh, then we go on to here. Let's open this up. Let's take out the gun rack. Gun rack. It holds four guns. Two um, heavy duty rifles. Um, two rifles. Yeah. And then it has this, like, satellite thing, I don't know. And, uh, one of these wheels, yeah, this one is, you know, up a little bit too much. Like, it's not touching the ground. Uh, let me do a test to see how well it goes over other bricks. To see if it really gets this out motion. Uh, yeah, so, I'm gonna get this. Get back here. Three fingers. 
uh, go down here, uh, where Wesley is, and uh, really quickly, take a look at Clearbrook Stick. It's only long enough to do one wheel, so I'm going to get more. Okay, so let's see how good it handles. Not very good. Because it's a bump. Because you put a bump right there. All the wheels do rise, which is good, but it can get stuck. But it would be easier to do it in stop motion. So if you do stop motion, this is a good tip. And, uh, yeah. Who really cares? Um, back to the tank. Right here, it has one more opening door. This is not open all the way, like all the others, but these two do. And um, this is the back, I'm not sure really. Front. This is the front or the back, but whatever. Yeah, this is the front. Right? Right. Right. Um, and anyway, uh, we're just going to test out this harpoon-looking missile kind of thing. Flick fire. Now there goes another piece. That's it. Um. Oh, yeah, let's go into the box. B-O-X. So right here shows the actual size minifigs. Yeah, all of them this time. Not just one, all of them. Right here it has a picture of the turbo tank, some of the caution stuff, and then Lego Star Wars the set number, which is 8098. And then back over here. And go to it's over here. 9, uh, 9 to 14. Set number 8098, long turbo tank, 1,141 pieces, uh, building toy. Yeah. I'm not going to read the rest of the language because I stink at that, even though I usually should do. No. And. <laughs> yeah, are you going to sign out for something? Uh, yeah, we're going to sign out right now, making sure that this is a good set. If you guys want to buy this, uh, you can get it at Swiss R Us for $120, I believe. But I got mine for Christmas, so who knows what they're probably Okay, bye.